All right, this is gonna be a quick video on how to degas a bottle that um, the threads inside of here have been stripped. So uh, this is the FX Maverick bottle valve on the 400cc aluminum bottle. Here is the um, bottle adapter that came off of it. Um, this thing from day one was pretty difficult to try to screw in, you know, screw on, screw off. And over a very short period of time, I don't know if you guys could actually see that if it focus or not. Yeah, it is completely stripped. So it literally will not do anything. I mean, it will not go in and it just comes right back out. So this thing, I ended up ordering another one from Huma Air. Um, the problem I have is that's stripped. This inside of here has probably got pieces of the threading that are embedded in this. So I can't get my bottle valve um, so this is a quick fill adapter that I got from Huma Air um, that you're supposed to be able to just stick these into this and screw them on like that and you can fill your bottle without having it attached to the rifle. Um, this is the, um, oh, I can't, grub screw that came with it, very small. So, because this is this is about a $35 piece. Um, I didn't want to force this into this and take a chance of it stripping out those threads. So this is only about the amount that it actually go in. So not enough to release that. So with the grub screw that came with it, it's not big enough to actually um, hit the valve down here to actually release the air. So I was having some issues, uh, posted things on an FX uh, Maverick site on Facebook. Didn't get very much help there. Uh, searched all kinds of YouTube videos, couldn't find anything on how to degas one of these things whenever the threads are screwed up. But um, so, I was trying to go about it the wrong way because I was thinking that if I could find a screw that was the same size as this, which I had a really difficult time trying to find, I would force one into there until it got in there and hit the valve layout and release the air. Um, but then it came to me to actually just get a bigger grub screw. So dollar and 27 cents ever last. Um, it is a M6 1.0 times 10 millimeter grub screw. Um, it is screwed in. It is screwed in right now, just enough, whatever. It's like I had to actually adjust it. This thing doesn't focus where the crap. But, so it's just enough where I can get it. That's as far as I can hand tighten it. Pair of pliers. I think you guys can hear that. That is the air coming out of my bottle. Nice and slow. Take a little bit. Not risking anything flying out of it, the bottle blowing up on me. Oh. 
Uh-oh, getting extremely cold, so yeah, definitely a little bit more. So the biggest suggestion that most of the guys made was uh, the rifle is under a year old. Um, quite a few people on there said it's like they've had the same exact problem that the bottle basically stripped out the bottle adapter. Right? And they said that uh, you send it back to FX, FX should send me a new uh, bottle valve and a bottle adapter even though I bought one from Huma Air, so I could, <clears throat> which actually I needed to buy the one from Huma Air anyway. It was a 300 bar, so it went on the 580 cc bottle that I bought from uh, Talon Tunes. Bottle is extremely cold, and I think that is pretty much all of the air, and yeah, so that. Pretty much did it. Um, I should be able to actually crack the valve now and remove it and that way I can safely send the bottle, the valve, and the adapter back to FX and we'll see what they do. Alright guys, thanks for watching. <laughs>